Dr. B. With Dax, whatever you do, don't punch me. Hello, everybody. It is me, your good friend, Tachyon, and I am here today playing some Ark Survival Evolved uh, here on my own little Ragnarok server, um, and I'm in the Deathworm Cave. I am in the Deathworm Cave collecting some crappy blueprint. Holy crap, was my blueprint stuff sucked today. Like, I got this, but not even in this cave. It was in something, it was in the, the, the dire bear area of the cave. <sighs> this was not worth all the material I got. I had to repair all my stuff. Oh, Lord. And it just was not worth it. So, yeah, I've been coming into this cave every once in a while to try to get some blueprints. I can get three, three beacons. Three beacons, ooh. I can get three beacons, and we gotta be careful now. Um, once we, uh, once we take the, I don't know if I'm healing. I don't know if it's not popping up because I have the three uh, uh, soups up. I know I'm getting a little health. But, ooh. Okay. Um. I actually died right there. I had to bring in another set of uh, clothing. Um, I have learned that I need more than one set of clothing uh, today. I have not been good. Usually, you can only get hit like once or once by a, a death worm, um, and it helps out a lot. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me just hit you. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Where'd it go? Let's see, torso, hands. Yeah, I died once right there. Um, well guys, I'm gonna try to get out of this cave. Why won't you die? Holy crap. Okay, that's, okay. I'm gonna get out of this cave. I'll bring you back when I'm out of here. I'm not that far from the edge. I just gotta go a little bit up there, but we gotta have to wait a second to get health back. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll be back uh, when I'm safe and sound out of this cave. Is this, are you giving me health at all? I don't think you're giving me health. Is this the soup's fault? Ugh, this has been a terrible cave experience. Hey guys, we're back. I put everything up. Uh, crap, it was literally cap. Like, the Mastercrafted Hatchet Blueprint was probably the best thing I got. And it was in a yellow drop outside in the bear cave. Um, that was not worth all the materials I did to repair all my crap again. Um, I'm probably gonna have to come in with like three, like three different sets of armor. I've still, I've still been trying to find, I might just have to make, I'll have to see how much uh, right armor, one sec. I might have to see how much right armor actually, you know, does. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, though it, it protects me. Um, it protects me fine, and as long as I take everything slow, which the first death I was not taking things slow. I'm sorry, Grim Rocket. I left you in the cave. But. By yourself for a long, long time. Um. Uh. But, you know, sometimes I always forget. Sometimes after a while, I haven't been in the cave for a few, for like a few, few days. So uh, I, uh, I sort of got cocky. <laughs> I was like, I remember a couple shot in these things easy. And my aim was just not good. So, uh, we got ourselves more, <laughs> more Dillos. <laughs> um, this is the newest breed, which I think, I think this bottom color, like, uh, I seen it. I've seen it right here, but I think this is like a lighter version of it. And it says she has two mutations. One over here and one over here. I think one's a stat mutation and the other's something else. I think I think the bottom of her belly's a mutation. Just like brighter, brighter orange, far brighter orange. So uh, I'm gonna remove all of these dillos in here and I'm gonna ship them off to uh, someplace else and then I'm gonna put these dillos in here. Um, and start breeding up more Dillos. Listen, the Dillo breeding project for really crazy mutations has not worked out very well, as you can see. <laughs> I have this person who has maybe 
a, a better mutation, but that's about it. Uh, I'm working, guys. I'm gonna try to get the coolest color uh, uh, Dillo I can, and this is my, listen. This is my first time actually trying to get mutations. Okay, this is my first time trying to get them. Um, I have uh, gotten um, five uh, males uh, who you say six months for watch. Five males who uh, decided you know they didn't have a female counterpart, so uh, I made. <laughs> A Korean or K-pop boy band, who uh, Dillo Force Two is actually he saw his he saw his offspring maybe not his offspring but he saw his uh, his line and was like we can make we can make a boy band so they're called the Five Dillo Five they're the Dillo K-pop band we have Frank we have Sung we have Sun Wu Long. We have Swig, and then we have BB, and they are the five Dillo Five, my Korean pop Dillo group. Um, yeah, they're gonna stay for now because I like them. But everybody else is gonna be moved off, shipped off to another place. I will not tell you that place. It's a swamp. They're going to fight to the death. I mean, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. Uh, actually, I actually think I might move them. To a place so I can get some dill eggs, because now, because now that uh, now that I learned that Titan boas only eat eggs, like they literally only eat eggs. What the crap? Um, I'm gonna have to have something that just constantly produces eggs, and that might be the dillos. So I'm moving again. Oh, they got an egg. Ooh, sliding. Um, but like I said, the Dillo breeding program is slowly coming along. Yeah. He, ah. um, and I will keep you guys up to date with anything crazy I have. Like every every episode will be like, <laughs> and now to the Dillo breeding program. Very important breeding program. Many people need it and use it. Oh, you guys are laying like a lot of eggs. I thought you were supposed to you were laying more eggs than anybody else. I thought you were supposed to not know. Oh, that's poop. That's not an egg. Guys, Carnos, I need you to lay more eggs than everybody else. I want Carno eggs. Maybe I'll move them down to the gills. Maybe I move them down somewhere else. Nobody else laying eggs? You guys lay some eggs? What do you have in you? Uh, you just don't, I don't know, whatever. Um, eggs, 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 eggs. Raptors, you laying eggs? Hey! What do you know? What do you know? Um, my horse is a good guys. Okay, so we checked on everything. Everything's good. Everything's beautiful. It's amazing. It's happy. Today's episode is gonna be sort of a uh, uh, a weird one. Okay, so I did uh, which I did another video on uh, how to uh, how to tame uh, queen bees. Uh, it's a short video. It's only like. It's less than three minutes long. It gives you the download, gives you all the information um, on what to do, how to do it, and all that. Ooh, rubber band. Um, and so I actually collected some um, some uh, uh, beehives. How much melon you get? Oh yeah. Oh baby. Look at all that metal. I've been like trying to get back ever since I started making that elevator back my metal supply. So, I got some beehives. I actually want to... I they don't, they don't look good in my bee thing because the back part's like sort of slanted and so they just stick out and look stupid. And I want it to be slanted so we're going to keep it slanted. I actually want to try something else. My gosh, I am so hungry. I want to make some bee turrets. Um... And it sounds funny, 
because it probably is pretty funny. Um, I want to make some bee turrets uh, so that I can uh, just have something fun like a bee turret. <laughs> something known as a bee turret. Okay, what do we have in here? Ceilings. We have some glass ceilings. We have some wood ceilings. I'm going to use glass ceilings because those, those might look cooler. Um, I think we want to do, well, let's do some testing real quick, okay? Foundations. Okay, foundations, okay. We have to do some testing. Testing is required. Come here, beehive. Ooh, we're gonna take some damage. Uh, actually, no, we shouldn't take some damage unless I just access the inventory. So we destroy that, we got our queen bee. Follow me, queen bee. Okay, you gotta stop right there, okay? Um, and we're, we're, we're just, this is just a test. Oh, you're gonna fit through that like nobody's business, aren't you? You're gonna... Oh no, you can't! Ho! Ho ho! Ho! Ho baby! Oh baby! This is great! Alright, we're gonna do that! Try to follow me, Queen Bee? Can you get out at all? Okay, you're stuck in there. Okay, perfect, beautiful, amazing. So what we're gonna do, uh, queen bee behavior, aggressive. Okay, you could be very aggressive. We need to find something small and won't actually attack the queen bee. Because what we gotta see is that the queen bee Launches out her uh, 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 stuff. Okay, that's a raptor. And that's a 140 female raptor. We'll keep that alive. What we want, Biomia. It, in fact, will not attack the queen bee. Hopefully, if it does, I'm going to be very pissed. It's like the only time the Biomia ever attacks is if there's a bee around. It's like it's the bee. It must destroy the bee. Okay, Queen Bee. You aggressively see an animal. Can your bees not fit out? Oh man, I didn't think the bees would be stuck there too. Oh no, they're not aggressive! Oh, there we go. Are they attacking this thing? It seems not to care. Do I have to force them all? If I make one... Well, they don't seem to be doing any damage. Oh, there they go! Uh, let's pull them back over here. Are oh, you making new bees, lady? Are they again 
Not a very... yeah, they switch? Hmm... So she's on aggressive. Oh. They all sort of went crazy. They're attacking them, aren't they? No, they're not really attacking them. Maybe we need something else. The bees are trying to get to him. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, okay? Let's... Options... Let's get a raptor over here. This is a taller creature. Okay. So we can do this. Holy crap, this is the... Okay, fair enough. Like, they're not gonna do an insane amount of damage. They did it! They killed the bee! They killed the rabbit, so it looks like they will aggressively attack what the queen wants them to attack. So let's cut this up and give it to Your first spoils, queen. Your first spoils. Do you not get- I guess you don't get any experience at the other beast. Do they get experience? No, we could just- we could just do stuff. We can't really- Okay, so we know this works. This is this is a legit strategy. So I I I want to try it on some other things, but we don't want the we don't want the queen bee to be in reach of like some of the bigger things. We want her to be like right here, ish. Maybe even right there. Okay, Queenie, we're going to change your behavior to passive right now. Um, we're going to put one, like, right there and maybe one, like, one right there. Yeah, I think it'll work. I think that'll work. All right, uh, how do we get you up there, though? You can fly, right? So let's try tools. Let's get this demo gun. Plus this gives I'm 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 gonna do a little uh I'm gonna do a little trying to organize this to get the bee where I want it. So let's uh let me bring it back when I get all this stuff uh uh situated, all this stuff uh done. Okay? So uh yeah. Uh be right back. Well, guys, we have an issue. The bees got out. I think it might have been the foundation. Ah, crap. I don't want to put them on the ground. That's a little dangerous. Ah. There's probably definitely the foundation. How do we keep them in there while still letting the bees get out? Um... Right, I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out, guys. I'll be right back after I figure it out. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yes! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Get him! You gotta get a little close. Come on, come on, 
come on. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, where are they going down? Oh, you gonna try to take that thing on? That's okay. No, they all died before that. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is great! Uh, I'm gonna attack this. Maybe they'll. Why aren't you raising any bees? Ooh, ooh. Did not mean to do that. Oh, there they go! There they go! We'll grab them. Big attack! They only do eight, which is a little disappointing, but I, I don't know how you actually level a queen bee up. Um, I guess we're gonna have to try to find out. But, guys, I'm liking this. The turrets, the turrets have been made. This is great. This is this is a fun little, this is a fun little achievement. Um, so pretty much these turrets are gonna be used for if anything tries to attack my gate, they'll just get swarmed by turrets, and they're cool. Just the fact that they work is awesome. Um, oh look, they go over something. <laughs> Kill the person. No, they're jumping off before they get to the bear. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, that's neat. So the turrets are functional. The turrets are working. I got them up. Uh. I'm gonna have to deal with that. I did. I didn't realize I did that, so I'm gonna have to change that up. Um, but I found if you used half a slab, half a wall, um, a lot like a railing and everything, like you can do this with all the railings I tested. Um, you do half a wall, which I did glass because I just wanted to see the bees. Technically, I probably could go stone to go with the motif. We'll see. We'll see. I might come back and redo this. But you do the half walls. Um, the big bee can't get out. The small bees can. I tried all kinds of stuff. I tried a hatch on the bottom. I tried a bunch of other stuff. And the bees were just, they were just getting out. I was just, they were getting out. And I, and I didn't finally figure this out. They weren't able to get out. But all the smaller bees were able to get out. And so now we have two turrets. So if anything comes near us, they'll just get stung by bees. Now, technically there are turrets in the game. But I'm like, why not just use bees? Bees are a good solution. <laughs> How do I solve this? By adding more bees. <laughs> Miss Dr. B. Oh my lord. Okay. So, so this is great. I'm, I'm loving it. Oh, you have no idea how I like the fact that I got this to actually freaking work. It looks hideous up here. All the stuff I had to do to get this stuff to work. But now we can just go right here and watch it. I guess I should do that and put like maybe a half glass. Do I even have any more? I've had to get so much material just for this stuff, but we can check on the bees uh, if we need to. We can like pull them over here and their heads will stick out and then we can just, you know, add, I guess, meat. Um, we'll probably need to add a, a feeding bin and everything right here just so these guys can eat. They eat meat, I think. Well, they do. They, you can tame them with meat, so they'll eat meat. But this is great. They'll just produce little bees and they'll attack anything. They want to kill that parasaur. Um, they really want to kill the parasaur. I hate. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send a message to make sure that maybe if whatever the the smaller bees um, uh, 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 initiative is uh, set um, for stuff. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is so great. I'm sorry. This is so great. Um, I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. Um, so guys, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on this game that I love so much because I just made bee turrets. That is the greatest thing ever to be. This is making bee turrets. Let's go find a little, real quick, let's go find like a raptor or something. Let's go find a raptor. This is so great! I'm so excited <laughs> that my bee turret works! Now, I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has made a bee turret in this game, but if not, I, I call, I call copyright, I call copyright on all bee related um, turrets in this game. Here we go. Hey, don't, don't find a raptor, but we found a dillo. Dillo's good enough just just to see the massacre. This is great. All the dead bodies are piling up.
Okay, you gonna attack me? Get it! Get the Dillo! Can you not reach the Dillo? I'm not lying, guys. Reach the Dillo. There we go. There's enough bees here. The Dillo has no idea what's going on. It works whether with bigger- There we go! Yes! We did it! <laughs> I love this! I love the bee turn! So guys, uh, I hope everyone had a good one. And uh, actually, uh, I'll see you guys next time, but I'm going to do a special little clip where I'm going to bring Dax over and kick him from the truck and have him punch me once. And then we're going to see how he likes the bee turrets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe even Rin. This is going to be great. So yeah, stay, stay tuned right after this. So have a good one, guys. What are we doing? Uh, can I have uh, you set up a beehive. Dr. B! With, Dax, whatever you do, don't punch me. Whatever you do. Do it, Dax. Don't punch her. Don't do punch it. Do it. Dax, why would you punch me? You fool! Bees! 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 I don't think these things would be very effective. They already have been very effective. How? If if someone came in with a T-Rex, they would just eat the bees. Oh lord, T-Rex, what are you doing?